Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. Um, so um, I wanted to kind of, I was like, OK, how can I make an event app, event success platform that we are relevant for, for the sustainability conference? But actually, the, the hybrid future for events is actually quite an interesting one. Uh, well, quick slide on me. Uh, I'm Tim, founder and CEO of Grip. If you have any feedback, both good and bad, uh, please feel free to email me. Uh, Tim at Grip Events. Uh, we work with, uh, besides NOAA, 12 out of 20 of the largest trade show organizers in the world. Uh, we do over a thousand events a year, uh, attended by about five million people this year. Um, so yeah, great to great to be here as well. Uh, as mentioned, we are uh, really focused on making event connections count. So. What that means is that we really try and provide a lot of value through the platform in making sure that the right meetings are set up. So I'll tell you to you a little bit about hybrid and what the difference is between virtual and in-person events and how we see that working in the future. Uh, and then I'll have some, a little bit of data on some of the networking that has happened so far at NOAA. Um, so hybrid, 98% of B2B marketers and sales leaders expect they will do virtual and in-person events moving forward. So that begs the question, for what purpose do you, do you do a virtual event, and why do you do an in-person one? Now, the interesting thing is that everybody comes to events with a certain reason, certain objectives of what they're looking to achieve as uh, kind of participating in a, in a conference or exhibition or trade show. And really, those different stages are aligned with a typical sales funnel. There is a content, an awareness component, a leads component, meetings, and the maintenance of relationships. What we've seen, actually, over the last 18 months is that there has been a rapid shift in how people engage with uh, uh, virtual events. And you can actually see that content experience and le learning new things has actually been really good from virtual events. Um, so that means that the top of funnel component has actually been quite successful. But the bottom of the funnel, the meeting and maintenance of relationships, is really, really tough to do through virtual experiences. And you saw it yesterday, actually, if you were yesterday at NOAA. Uh, everybody was outside networking, meeting each other, kind of connecting with people that they knew before, or building new relationships. And the content experience is not as important anymore for in-person events as it was before. So, and we see that actually in the, network, in, the, in the data as well, right? So here you see kind of quality of networking and doing business is still heavily preferred to be done in person, um, while, of course, this kind of online experience is great for content. So this results in what we call the hybrid customer journey, where organizers combine both in-person and virtual events to deliver those different objectives as part of the event experience. And this means that Marco's business is rapidly changing, because pre-event, NOAA was a single-channel organization. They delivered value in one way to their customers, in-person events. Then, through virtual, they had a new medium, a new channel that they had to use in order to deliver value to their customers, uh, participants and sponsors. Um, but now the future is omnichannel, just like retail, combining virtual and in-person uh, touch points to really provide more value and more uh, different experiences to their audience. Uh, and that's what we build at Grip. So we have a platform that can both be used for virtual and in-person experiences. It's all connected through a single engagement hub. Um, we run a, a very sophisticated personalization engine underneath that. So you know, since Marco will be using us for the coming 10 years, um, uh, the, the, every year we'll get smarter, and every year we'll learn more about what kind of you know, connections you're interested in uh, to make sure that you meet the right people moving forward. Um, now. Last night, I was like, all right, let's take a look at how everybody has been networking. And of course, we're all, all talking about sustainability. So I was like, let's see if we can find some interesting stats. But first, how is NOAA doing? Um, about 80% of you have downloaded or kind of installed the platform. So you might have installed the app or used the web platform or any combination of those. Um, it's about 2,500 connections were made last night. Um, so that, that's about 4.6 per user. Uh, the benchmark is 1.8, but this includes like big trade shows with tens or hundreds of thousands of people as well. Um, and then the accepted meetings, there's about 1.7 meetings per user, and an acceptance rate on average of about 24%. So if you requested a bunch of meetings, the average is about 24% being accepted. Um, the most meeting requests, about 2,500, came from startups. And they are the, the, the ones that have requested the majority of meetings. It's also the biggest group of people, but also on a per-user basis, they've requested most of the meetings. Um, and then I thought, let's crunch some data and see if we can find some interesting insights. 
Now, investors are three times more likely uh, to have the meeting being accepted than startups. So if an investor is here in the room and requests a meeting with somebody else, highly likely that the other person will accept it, regardless of who that person is. Um, actually, but also 60% of all meeting requests that happened at NOAA were all directed towards investors. So they are clearly still the group that is in the highest demand uh, of that uh, people want to meet with. Um, but this is quite an interesting one. Investors are 2.5 times more likely to accept a meeting request from a tech startup than from an impact company. So clearly, there's still a lot of work to be done uh, for sustainability to come through to investors. And this is very different than corporates. Corporates are twi twice more likely to accept a meeting request from an impact company than from a tech startup. Um, and this is the last one. So investors are the most likely to accept a meeting request of. Who thinks, let's do a quick interactive poll for the people in the room. Who thinks that they are most likely to accept a meeting request from tech startups? Show of hands. Couples, yeah? Journalists? No, they don't want to talk to journalists. Corporates? No? Investors? Yes, a couple. Impact companies? It's investors. Investors love talking to other investors. This is true for every tech conference that we do on the platform. It's always the same. They really just want to talk to other investors. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great conference.